Hey YouTube, K's Garage here doing a video about removing my plastic dip on my charger. So, as I've said in the past of a recent video, I'm going to redo this plastic dip. As you can see, this had some issues. It started peeling up. I got goo gone on it, resprayed it, just kind of temporary. And I didn't put up enough coats, so it's still silver underneath. So we're going to go ahead and try and see how hard it is to peel off Plasti Dip off this whole hood. Especially all this, this is also all Plasti Dipped. Um, might try to avoid undipping that, not sure. Um, let's just see how it goes. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try and find a spot. So, Plasti Dip is very strong when you apply enough coats. So, this has been on this car for over a year now. So, not having any issues with it other than my own personal error. So, it's time for this stuff to come off. So, it's not coming off too bad. Once I get to the main part, it'll probably... Uh, it'll probably be easier like in most videos you've probably seen the more coats the easier it is to pull off as you can see I got my whole hand in there and it's not torn yet look at that that's normal that's like the black stretching and that's I don't know exactly what to call that but that's just the stretching of the um, material And yes, this hood is silver. I've never done a video about putting on the hood or anything like that. So, that's kind of like what I want to do now. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and just kind of peel it off. As you do, or as you can see, you just kind of peel it. I'm not going that fast, so it's kind of just ripping. Or I'm going too fast, it is ripping, that's what I meant to say. So, I'm going to go ahead and kind of time lapse it, kind of. I'm going to show you up to that spot, and then I'll start filming again. Alright, so now I'm kind of getting towards that spot. Uh, when I was spraying this in the first place, it was my first time ever plasti dipping. So, I didn't really put on that many good of coats, as you can see. I mean, I can kind of pull it up, and then it kind of just rips. So, pretty thin, but that's only in the middle. On the edges, it's pretty, pretty thick. It's kind of just like pulling. There is some holes in it. You can kind of see right there. There's like three little holes. That's from like rock chips and stuff like that. So, Plasti Dip is a good way to save your paint. It's also a nice way to change any colors and stuff like that. I mean, Plasti Dip in the first place was used as like a tool grip. So, go from tool grips to changing your car's color. <laughs> As you can see, why I went with Plasti Dip was because this hood is silver. And I don't want a red and silver car. It kind of clashes. And this whole front bumper is red. So, did something a little different and went with this. So, I'm going to keep pulling on this and show you guys after I'm done. So, as I get to this edge... It should start to tear because that is not that thick. So it's kind of pulling up around the corners first. Oh yeah, it's already pulling through. So the edges of this are a lot thicker than that main patch I made. As you can see, you still see silver. That whole patch is still on the car. 
Yeah, so all that is the patch. And you can see that there's still dirt trapped in there. Like right there. So since there was a hole in the plastic dip, I tried to clean it out as best I could and then re-dip it. And then there's just trap dirt and other stuff in there. So this was from the SRT8 that had all the pinstriping and everything. It was a silver one. So I um, picked this thing up for like 150 bucks when I found it on like Craigslist. Dude was like, hey, my SRT8 blew its motor, so parting it out. So I can give you 150 bucks right now. Drove like four hours to get it. Best $150 I've ever spent. So I'm going to go ahead and get back to this. Alright, so this is what it looks like after almost, I'd say about 95% of the plastic dip is peeled off. And there's the pinstripes. Um, it was in very good condition. Um, guy who had it kept his car in very great condition. So... Uh, now after I get this plastic dip off and clean up the car a little bit, I will re-dip the hood and that will be a separate video. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Kind of know the do's and don'ts of peeling off plastic dip. I screwed up, started peeling inward and then what you want to do is start along the edges and then kind of lift it up and over. That way it'll peel it instead of just tearing it like I did and always make sure you make thick coats the thicker the coat the better it will come off so if you guys like this video please like subscribe and comment let me know what you think and follow me on instagram ks underscore garage underscore I will answer any questions you guys might have about doing plastic dip or even about the dodge dart I no longer have or about that truck over there about the charger any questions uh have a good night guys